I'm back. I think I have now finished the engine loom. Harness. Finished the engine harness. So what have I done? Plug on the ECU. Good. This one, it's got a speed. So from the gearbox loom, this one over here, this one, it has power, voltage, and an earth in this plug. Comes down to here, has the speed sensor, comes to the ECU. From the ECU, comes back to that plug. That will allow the speedo to be calibrated exactly right. The police over here on holiday weekends and if they're, they're having a bit of a, a crackdown, only give you a 4% allowance on your speed. Funnily enough, if I take a vehicle to cert, I have to have the speedo within 5%. Do we see a problem here? So the unit, the item that you use to judge your speed is allowed to be 5% wrong. However, you're only allowed a 4% difference for your ticket. It's one of the dumb rules that we have. But I can solve it, because we can make that speedo bang on by calibrating with the ECU without putting extra boxes in. So we're utilizing the ECU to its full potential. And I've used almost all the plugs, all the terminals in that. There's one that I didn't use. I could have put an auction sensor on that one, but I prefer to put a wide band in it. Speed plug, and these two I took out, and it's got the reverse wires. I don't know where the reverse lights are in this vehicle at the present. So I put a plug on the loom. If it isn't used, it can just be taped up, zip tied out of the way. If it is used, it comes up to that plug. And that plug will just plug into the old spot on the van, well, ho hopefully. I'm expecting the man who fits it to actually grab a multimeter or a test light. I think I'd prefer a test light. And just check that there's 12 volts on the, the orange wire in that plug. Because here's the same plug on the old loom. There's also this plug on the old loom, which is in the, in the van. So this plug is in the van. It's got a start and a battery and aircon and ignition. Taco water temp, check light, and the fan, which I'm not using. I've changed that. So when they go to do the fan wiring, it's going to be in... Oh, that's a fan trigger. Sorry, that is a fan trigger. So um, somewhere in this van, there's a fan switch. Something's gone wrong with it, or it was... Well, it wasn't functioning like expected. And someone's bridged the fan off... So here is the fuel pump wiring. And that little unit is the, the, the trigger for the fuel pump because the ECU out of a Sora or SC400 doesn't have a suitable, just a single output. So we put these little boxes in. And there's the tap for the fan. So the fan was running it every time the fuel pump ran. So that plug exists in the van, and I've put a matching plug onto this loom. So there it is there. So there's the taco, little blue wire for the temp gauge. Check engine light, hopefully that works on the dash. And I've got a feeling that I sorted the taco and check engine light on this van many moons ago. There's a start trigger. Now that start is only a little one, and it goes to the ECU. The main start is, is over there, or it can be here. So this is a main start as well. May or may not be used. There's the aircon. I don't know if the aircon is working in this vehicle. So I've used the trigger from the van. It goes to the ECU. The ECU is then going to trigger a separate relay for the air conditioning pump. So I've put that in. The ECU can also up the idle speed because it gets that signal. 
That might be down the track for getting that air conditioning all sorted and running. And the big important wire is this little tiny one, big important, little, is the ignition input. So that must have 12 volts key on right there. And you'll see me fire it up by powering into that uh, wire there. And here comes Bronwyn. She's a little bit camera shy at the moment. Oh, there she is. I'm going to have to zoom in to get that finger. So I've got the two plugs that will plug into the van. Fingers crossed. Fairly confident on that. Got the start wiring, ECU plug, the OBD2 plug, which will have the OBD2 dongle fitted. It is now fitted. Got a little loom, this one, this plug. So I've made a small oil pressure loom. And that allows uh, the oil pressure sensor. That allows the oil pressure sensor comes up to the ECU, which I think that's really important, being able to monitor that oil pressure properly, especially because it's a new engine. The ECU then puts out a light or a signal for the light on the dash. If they don't run that, then you can just plug the, the light wire can be plugged directly into the switch. However, I'd prefer the switch to be taken out and the pressure sensor put in. I've also got a six pin plug here. It's got the CAN wiring in, CAN communication wiring, an analog voltage, power supply and an earth, a couple of earths. That is for a wideband sensor, either a link CAN lambda, and if we put a CAN lambda in, which would be the ultimate, that would be my first choice. Uh, I would probably put a suppressor on the power supply. The perfect choice would be a link can lambda. Really neat little units, easy to install, work really well. Another option is a generic type wideband sensor. And the advantage of a wideband is it operates over the whole mixture range. So you can use it for tuning properly, give good logging, and it can operate and control mixture or adjust mixture as well, just like a narrow band. The sensors are reasonably cheap. It's just the units themselves that cost a few dollars. Once you have them, they work really well, and it's something that I do recommend on aftermarket ECUs. The plan moving forward, going to use the clip together relays. I think the way it's going to sit in the van is these will sit in front of the battery on the front panel down quite low and then I've got a relay box with the terminals up the bottom and that can sit above it and be, have a couple of brackets mounted in the van. I think that's going to work quite well. Very similar to how I did the last high ace on standard computer. I'm going to have fan, fuel pump, ignition and ECU relay and an air conditioning relay future proofing for when we get the air conditioning going. Because air conditioning is nice to have in your vehicles. So I'm going to get into this run some wires, run some power feeds, make it all up, so it connects straight into this one. Back into work. So a few more hours have uh, progressed since I was last talking to you. Put together the relay and fuse box. And I fed the calves, because they needed to be fed as well. Well, I'm, um, I'm based on a farm, 2Ks down a gravel road in the middle of nowhere. And I quite like it out here. It's peaceful, it's pretty quiet. And the neighbours, the calves, pretty easy to deal with. 
However, it does mean that late at night, I can't go firing up engines because cattle do get scared. There's some, some older bulls just outside. And they'll probably be okay, actually. They're not normally too bad. But the young fellas, they haven't heard enough engines run yet. Pretty much once they get sorted, and once we've fired a few engines up at, at all hours, they, they generally get pretty good. Now anyway, relays and fuse boxes. I built this little unit, hopefully going to sit beside the battery, and I think this one should be mounted up above it. I've got a fan output, I've got a fuel pump output, plugs in there, the engine's got a manifold on it, radiator not like me at all, the throttle body is mounted, and the bucket of noise is on the ground. There's a piece of vacuum hose coming out like so, and the loom's mounted going through the plenum, running across the back. There is a battery pack. So all these things indicate that it might be ready to run. I need to unlock the CCU. I need to fire a tune into it. I've done plenty of videos on firing tunes in and setting that up. So I'm gonna get that done. And then we are gonna make some noise before it gets dark and scares the cattle. I even took the time to fit the oil pressure sensor to this engine so I can check everything on this. Alright, into the laptop, unlock an ECU, vroom vroom time. So the oil light is controlled by the ECU. At this stage we have the oil pressure sensor to the ECU and then out to the light by that ECU. So that's working. I need power to the ignition right here. Just that, that one wire. So I'm going to disconnect the ignition for a moment and reconnect it. And now I can hear that fuel pump running, primes and stops, I like that, we have fuel pressure up there, this is my starty starty wire here, so I've popped into the run time values, look the triggers, seeing if there's a signal there, we'll just give it a little crank, It seems to want to go. Might be a little bit lean. The tune that I was running, I'd modified the throttle body slightly and tweaked the idle stopper. Speedo can now be calibrated with the link. Smartphone connected, 62 degrees. Check some throttle.
Woohoo! Woohoo!